Welcome to a new episode of Major Carnix Metal Detecting. Today I'm on the secret spot again and my first find is a coin. Uh, just It's a new coin, it's a modern coin. It's 10 euro cents from France in 2006. At least it's something. Let's see, let's see, let's go. All right, all right, all right. I got my first showcasing of today. It's a 303 British Canadian cartridge. Great. I'd love to see where they shot at. Next one. All right, next find is a Jesus Cross again. Wow. I love it. I found Jesus again. Did you get the double entendre? No, me neither. It's a panda again. Uh, it's a necklace. As you can see, it's probably, uh, or it, no, it's not probably, it is broken. And yeah, I found it here in the ground. And the other pendle I found there yesterday, somewhere around here, I guess, or the uh, day before yesterday. So not so far away. And I'm standing in in between all the uh, shell casings I found, so yeah, don't know. Let's see what else. For my next find is this nice little spoon. I actually tried to find some information about it, but uh, yeah, not today at least. Uh, it says a ROC, ROC, something like that, 6845 or 6G45. It also says Regina Vlekfry, and Vlekfry means stainless, so it's probably stainless steel. Uh, as you can see here, it's a bit damaged, so uh, I think I don't think it's silver, although I do remember some numbers in silver, but mm, it should be something else. Uh, <laughs> it is Dutch, but uh, Regina with the with the code six eight four five is actually a place in uh, in Canada, <laughs> so. <laughs> It could all be related, but probably not. All right, next one. Next find is a koi. It's a one cent from the Netherlands. I think it says 1952. A little bit worse condition than before, but I think I can clean it. Right, next one. This field is absolutely bonkers. This is the, the fourth one on a small piece of grass. And it's beautiful, it's in beautiful condition. This is Maria probably. And this is the man himself, Mr. Jesus. Yeah, it's great, I have no idea why they would lose this kind of stuff, but uh, if it were the soldiers then it would be out of my mind to think, uh, to, to, to realize if this was from the soldiers. But I do think that this place was once used as a, a religious get-together or something because yeah, I cannot explain it otherwise. Why would people lose so many of this stuff and it's not like a walk-through path or something. It's a closed-off area, so... Cool, next one! I just found a 9mm which was in pretty bad condition and now I've got a CSC joining the fight. Okay, cool, next one. And another one sent. It's from 1965. Uh, no, 56, sorry. Cool, moving on. And a new coin, it's a 5 cent. A Dutch 5 cent from 1972. It's uh, again in a nice condition and uh, yeah, moving on. Oh my god, I got tricked so badly. Oh, I dug up this huge coin, silvery colored. I thought, yeah, this is the one. And it says, even says Beatrix, which was, which was uh, the Queen of the Netherlands, was the Queen of the Netherlands. But it's a football coin which you could get at the local tank station, like the Shell. Football top 20, like a soccer top 20, football top 20, whatever. 1970, oh my god, my heart was jumping, jumping, jumping. Oh, next one. I 
think I actually found five euros and I, I thought it was a very old coin because it was in such a bad state, but uh, it's actually a new coin, I guess. Beatrix coming in the needle on the, yeah, it's 2007 now, I see it. Oh, 2002, 2007. Wow, that's incredibly bad of me. All right, next one. Mumbo number five. Again, across, oh. Sorry, I'm getting eaten alive. I'm seriously freaking out about this. Goddamn mosquitoes, I forgot to put up my date. Anyway, it's a great cross. It has some text on it, which I will see back home when I clean it. And every time I stand still now, I'm getting eaten. So, uh, yeah, but this is again a nice find. It's again a pendant, so hmm, let's see. Oh, lock up your daughters and lock up your wives. No. This is a very old lock with like a thingy here behind, probably, yeah, to, to do some locking, <laughs> I don't know for sure. Wow, great, I love finding old shit, uh, beep, and uh, yeah, this is fantastic. <laughs> right, next one. So, this is my last find for today. I got tricked again, I thought it was a... Uh, um, a nice coin, but it's a, it's a token, a play token for some arcade hall or something. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's nice condition though. But uh, it's not what I was it is not what I was looking for. So thanks for watching, and uh, the summary will be afterwards. All right, bye. So welcome to today's summary. Let's start in the upper left corner. As always, it's the big iron locky thingy, latchy. I, uh, it's, I think it's very old because nobody uses this big iron stuff anymore. It could be from a barn though. And this should be accompanying it. And this is a different piece, which has the nails through it from the inside, so it looks. No idea. Don't actually know what it is. Um, let's go on. I'm getting some messages. In the meantime, piece of yeah, probably lead. Very heavy, but it doesn't feel like lead, so it's not lead. Something else. Don't know what it does there. What it's uh, supposed to be. Uh, half ring. Pretty old. I think I found it at at least forty centimeters. Still don't know what it does. This little thingy is uh, quite interesting though. Now, come on, focus, focus. Yes, thank you. I don't know what it is, so if you know, please leave me a comment. Could be from a jacket though. Oh, no, it seems pretty old. And this clump was giving me the highest silver uh, tone my metal detector can handle. I, but I do think it's uh, um, aluminum pushed together. I tried to unpush it to, to unwrap it, but didn't work. Um, got the two shell casings, only two today one CAC, one uh, 303, both from the Second World War. I got this piece, which is quite interesting. Uh, it had a design on it, and I was like, whoa, maybe it could be something interesting. And it, it, it is probably a little bit. Uh, but you got this writing in a mirrored view in the back. It says Euro Hall Complex uh, Falkenberg, which is a city nearby. And it's... Uh, the, the the name changed to Euro Hall when it, uh, in 1976 or something, so it's not that old, but yeah, it was crazy to find, of course. Two 9mm shells, I um, couldn't find anything other than, yeah, I, I couldn't find any dates on it. Then I got the, the, the spoon, as you guys might know, I'm still hunting for silver, my first silver, and I still haven't found it. Uh, this is not silver, it's... Uh, Stainless steel, probably. It has some coating on it, so that's why I doubted it. 
because I still haven't found silver, I have no idea what silver, except for my ringy thingy here. So yeah, but it's still a great find, I love finding spoons, it's uh, something else, something different. Then we have the coins, this is uh, the 5 cents, Dutch 5 cents from 1972, Dutch 1 cent from 1955, no, 6, um, 56, uh, 56, thank you. And this one is from 1952, if I remember correctly. Yes, it is. Then I got the Dutch 5 euro cent, the French 10 euro cent. Um, this is uh, actually an arcade coin. Uh, it's from uh, Arcade Hall in Heerle. I've been there <laughs> in the past when I just moved uh, to uh, my province. So that was pretty, pretty, you know, Weird to find. This is actually a football coin, and it's not with Beatrix, but it's with uh, a guy called Strick or something. I will show you afterwards. No, you should have seen it already. And then we come to the crazy finds. This is, yeah, I, I actually love finding these. It's great. Um, this one says. Oh, it actually might have a date on it or not. No, it's probably just some writer. Okay, it says GHS, which uh, translates to Latin letters of the... The first three Latin letters of Jesus' name or something. I don't know. It's not very common anymore, but it's still being used. This piece is quite interesting, as you have seen in the uh, when I found it. Um, I found another picture of it on the internet, some other guy found it as well. And he actually had a, sm a small silver stamp here. And I don't have it. So you guys know I'm, I'm still searching for silver and I got the exactly exact same find, only he got a stamp on it and I don't. And I still don't know for sure if this is silver or not. It could also be aluminum or zinc or whatever. It's Pretty heavy though, but and last but not least, this uh, piece of a cross, uh, also a necklace. So yeah, pretty strange. I, I think the site is uh, being used by uh, World War Two guys, very religious guys who lose coins in 1970 or something. Probably. Ah, I forgot this piece. This is probably uh, from a dog collar or f maybe from a gothic. Yeah, you never know. Alright, thanks for watching and hope to see you next time. Okay, bye bye.